You guys see what's happening here? It's your boy Rick taking the mic. Woo! Woo! All right, guys, it's about that time. Put the playlist in the chat. I'm glad you all made it. We got 20 on right now. We'll take some time uh, to get started slowly and uh, let the rest of the people come in. What's up, Morgan and Paul? Uh, we're gonna start down on the ground in a 90-90 position. Just working those hips a little bit. So they're gonna come side to side. Oh yeah. All right guys, so I threw that playlist in the chat. Let's go ahead and start it together in about five seconds. It's called Furloughed Champ. It's on my, uh, my Spotify. So let's get that linked up in three, two, and starting with super rich kids, a little bit slower. All right, guys, so we're gonna add to that 90-90 position a little bit. Uh, if that left leg is forward, what we're gonna do is press that left hand back, and reach over and across, before we switch to the other side. Big side body stretch. Let's get one more on each side, fill it out. I bet, going back to back. These guys are filling it in house. <laughs> Eric Appleseed. Cool guys, whenever you're good there, let's go ahead and place hands back behind us. We're just gonna walk, a little crab walk, walking those hips forward into the bottom of our squat, and then walking it back. So keeping those feet in the same spot, we're just kind of warming up those wrists, shoulders just a little bit, and then getting into the bottom of our squat, trying to open up those hips just a bit. Before we walk it back. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get you guys to do some goofy stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, guys. On that last one, we can place our butt back down on the ground. We've got some deck squats, some get-ups today, so we're just gonna play around with that position by rolling feet back and then coming back into that seated position. Since you guys are at home, play around with it, get as goofy as you want. If you wanna try to come side to side, you can roll on one side and then back to that center position. <laughs> Not rolling directly over that neck on the side of your head there, good. Over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Good guys, that last one, we can come forward. We're just gonna come down onto our knees. Let's go five hip circles, one direction, five the other direction before we switch. Good, five and five. We're gonna do the same thing with our shoulders here. So from that same position, thumbs up, we're pulling it through. Let's go five big circles, one direction, five the other. Really think about that midsection too, trying to keep everything in line, shoulders in line, hips in line, not letting that weight shift as it has a tendency to do. Nice guys, when you got five and five, both arms. Still in that kneeling position, toes are tucked. We're gonna rock hips back, put a little forward pressure into those wrists. Try to keep those arms locked out. Got you guys down on your hands today, doing a little, little bit of hopping. Wanna make sure those wrists are good to carry some load. Good guys, let's extend into that full plank position. And all we're gonna do is bring one leg up, okay? Kind of fill those hips out before we set it back. Try that other side. 
Just going side to side, a few reps here. Whatever you feel like you need to get into those hips a little bit. Good, Catherine's breathing through it. It's probably the most, actually I don't know what your guys' normal workout schedule is, but for me, this is the most time I've spent in the gym, moving in a long time. I mean, every day I'm going home doing your guys' classes. Good guys, on that last one, or whenever you feel like you're ready, let's float both those feet towards hands here. We're gonna let hips come up, okay? From this hanging position, left elbow is going into left thigh, a little rotation here. And then you're gonna go back down to that bottom position before you transition, just rotating side to side. Good guys. We'll stand it all the way up. Uh, we can take a wider stance here, just pushing those hips around. If we're in a barrel, we're trying to hit our hips around the entire inside of that barrel. Good, wiggling around, forward, back, side to side. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Catherine's got a little rhythm with that. Um, let's just go deep air squats here, standing it up, squeezing those cheeks at the top. Good guys, keeping that torso up, driving through those heels. Good, loose shoulders here. We're just gonna bounce it out side to side, forward, back, whatever you feel like you need. Good, let's take it to that right foot. So just hopping on one side or one foot. Soft bounce there, loose knees, good switch in. Switching feet if you haven't. Go, let's take it out to jumping jacks. Go, coming across, so those cross body jacks. You feeling that chest? Yeah. yeah. Let's go into that step back. Lunge with a little hop at the top. Maybe five on one side, five on the other side. Taking your time, we've got some lunges today. We've got some hinges. Go, when you get those five and five, we'll go rotational hops. Twisting at that torso. Good, let's take it to high knees, bringing those knees up above that waist. I like these two variations here. Let's go butt kickers, heel to glute. And this workout's for you guys, right? Whatever you feel like you need today, um, I'm gonna be encouraging you to give what you can give, but uh, you know, if you're just trying to get through, if it's one of those blue band days, uh, you know, take what you need. Your uh, screen on my side is a tiny little screen, so I can't see if you're dogging it. Uh, we're gonna extend hands out, okay? We're just gonna mess around with that neck a little bit, make sure we're good there. Drawing big circles. Really extending through those fingertips. <laughs> Catherine's feeling it today. <laughs> Good, arms coming out and we'll just rotate in. External, internal rotation. Coming out to those Y, T, A's. Just making sure we're good. All right, guys. So, combo workout today. Everyone's favorite. Uh, we got 10 movements total, okay? Five of those movements are gonna be a rep-based, uh, using some sort of weight type of movement. Uh, the other movements are meant to be 
more uh, cardiovascular, get your heart rate up. Um, so what we're gonna do here is I'll go through these uh, first couple of movements. I'll let you guys get to it before I go through an additional set of movements. Okay, remember we've got 10 movements total. We're gonna go through those 10 movements three times. And uh, that being said, the first time through this, it's gonna take a little bit longer. We're gonna get familiar with the movements um, and groupings. And then once we get through those, uh, the second and third time through, you guys know what to do. So uh, we'll go a little bit quicker there. So for the first two movements that we're gonna be working on right now, we've got 40 second donkey kicks. Okay, so that first movement, it's time-based. I'm gonna throw 40 seconds on the clock. We got donkey kicks, what that looks like and why we were prepping those wrists, okay? We're gonna place hands down on the ground. Uh, I like to start with them on one side, okay? Kicking up and then right back down. Coming side to side. You don't have to kick up too high, okay? You can keep it low or whoo, go into that hover position, play around with the hover. We got 40 seconds there. Next movement, we got 10 boat presses. So from a boat position, elevating those uh, heels off the ground, holding that weight at your chest, press it up overhead. Woo, and trying to avoid that rocking motion, okay? Press it up overhead, 10 reps there. Let's get through those two movements and then I'll explain the next grouping. Let's get it, baby. We got 40 seconds on the clock. We're going in three, two. Let's get it, guys. Woo! <laughs> nice. These guys are feeling loose today, I love it. We got 20 seconds down. Eric's playing with that hover a little bit more. <laughs> He's working on his howls. 10 seconds, guys. Oh, you guys are gonna hear me singing. We got three, two. Good, guys, going to that second movement. We got 10 inside boat press. 10 reps on that boat press. <laughs> All right, let's see it, guys. We're going right to it. Good work. Once we got those 10, I'll go into the next group of movements, guys. Enjoy the pacing this first time through, because like I said, second and third time through, it's all you, you know the moves. All right, so number three, number four, second group of movements. We got 40 second deck squat with lateral hops. So again, like we did in warm up, we're gonna roll it back, standing up, lateral, lateral, right back to that starting position, okay? We have a weight, we need that weight to help get us up. Go ahead and do that. On that get up, if you need to press off the ground too, that's an option, okay? But we're going get up, lateral hop, Right back to it for 40 seconds. Next one, double back lunge with the squat. So we'll go into this little lunge position, boom. Right to that center, okay, lunge, lunge, down. We got five total, counting those squats. We're going in three, two, let's get it guys. Looking good on the camera. I know a lot of you guys know this already. This is one of my favorite movements. It forces you to get from the ground to standing. <laughs> What'd you call that? <laughs> yeah, I should be happy Eric's not mic'd up today. Or maybe he should be mic'd up. We got five seconds, guys. <laughs> we got three, two, good. Go into that double back lunge with the squat. Oh yeah, that's time, that's time guys. Go into that double back lunge with the squat. So these guys picked up the weight, I forgot the weight. Hold that weight, right? Nice guys. So 10, or excuse me, five squats. If you're counting those lunges, it's 10 lunges total. If you're counting those squats, we got five squats, chest up. Man, 
<laughs> All right. Next group of the movements, guys. Forward, back lunge, show for 40 seconds. Whatever space you have in your house, make it work, Kev. Okay? We're going into a sprint, touch down, right back, forward, back for 40 seconds. So that's number one for 40 seconds on the clock. Second movement, we got the five and five suitcase deadlift. So for these movements here, we wanna pretend like we have weights in both hands, okay? Hips are staying square, shoulders staying square. We're just picking that bad boy up from the ground, standing up tall, right back down. Really think about driving those knees out in that bottom position as you stand up and through. Five and five, guys. We're going in three, two, and let's go, 40 seconds. And thankfully, Eric set up a clock for me. I'm notorious for trainer seconds. Just tend to be a lot longer than normal seconds. We got 20 seconds left, guys. Good work, Kimberly. I love that modification. Not a lot of room in there. Seven seconds, guys. Three, two. Good, going to that suitcase deadlift. That's time, guys. Suitcase deadlift, we got five and five. Nice, proud chest standing up tall at the top. I'm gonna think about driving the crown of our head all the way up to the ceiling. Bracing that midsection, protecting that low back. Good work, guys. Uh, group three done. We got a couple more groups to go. Next one, four mountain climbers to a frogger. So we're gonna be down in a plank position, okay? We're driving knees up toward, towards our elbow here. So one, two, three, four. When we get to four, we'll hop both back or both forward before one, two, three, four. Okay, going in between those movements. That's number one for 40 seconds. That next one, guys, sit up to tricep extension. So we'll sit up. You don't have to bring that press in. You can keep that weight elevated here. Get that tricep extension before coming back down. That's the next group, guys. Let's get Eric Appleseed, catch me if you Catherine in. 40 seconds on the clock. Going in three, two. Let's get it, guys. So counting to four on those mountain climbers, you can count each knee to elbow. I feel for you guys in those 40 seconds. Ooh, and Eric pulling those hands off the ground. I like that. Nice. Showing you their palms. Got those itchy palms. 10 seconds, guys. Driving knees. We got three, two. Good. Sit up to tricep extension. That's what's up next. You got eight of those, guys. I didn't say a rep count. You got eight. Nice, JR, strong extensions, elbows pointed up towards the sky. Good work, guys. Eight total here, eight total. Good job, Grant. Miranda. Andy B, Andy B in the house. Was that eight, you guys counting? I'm not counting. Good, finishing it up. We got our last group, guys. Those will be the 10 movements. So coming up next, 40 seconds of that single leg, straight leg hinge to hop. So what that looks like is we're gonna reach down to the ground. We're hinging from the hips to make that action happen. And then into a little hop, balancing, right? Your boy didn't warm up like you guys, so a little shaky on that. Uh, but we got 20 seconds on one leg, 20 seconds on the other. 
That's movement one, 40 seconds there. The next movement is that cross body clean, okay? This is one of my uh, new favorites here in-house. So what that looks like, it's just like a normal clean, except we're reaching across our body, driving those knees out, okay? As we stand up, pulling that elbow high, knuckles are coming into that front rack position right under our chin. We'll set it down, reaching across, coming to the other side, okay? We got five and five on that, and that's 10 movements. We'll go two more times through. All right, guys, 40 seconds on the clock. Going in three, two, let's get it. Nice work, guys. What's that? Yeah, kind of a chill Sunday morning. Gave you guys a little extra on the music. And I know you couldn't hear Catherine. She said she was digging the tunes. Hope you guys are too. Switch legs, yep. I got lost in Eric's eyes. <laughs> Good, if you haven't switched, we got about 10 seconds. We got five. Good guys, going to that cross body clean, five and five. Whenever you're ready, go into those five and five. Nice, Camacho, looking good. Randy, you got Danny in there too? Yeah, cool. Danny's moving, good job, Barbara. Nice guys, pulling that elbow high and that resting position should be right under your knuckles. Good job, Haley. Nice, we got 10 total, five and five. Can we get those five and five. Man, you need a minute? <laughs> we got 60 seconds on the clock. We'll take a minute here, shake it out, grab your water, whatever you need. Um, there's not a lot left for me to do here, right? You guys know the moves. I'll show you, I'll talk you through it, but now it's all you guys. So we'll move a little bit quicker through these. Like I said, 10 movements. Um, same structure, just running back through it two more times. Give you a quick update. Uh, Stefan quit. He couldn't handle us anymore, so he's out. He's <laughs> we broke the hammer. <laughs> That's not true, guys. He, he's still around. <laughs> About to get some angry emails. <laughs> All right, guys, another 15 seconds before we start our second time through. Guys in house fooling around. All right, guys. We're losing our minds in here. We got three seconds before we start that next one going into donkey kicks. 40 seconds on the clock. We're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Good. And if you were doing shallower hops the first time, maybe play around with that hover like, uh, like Eric and Catherine are here. They're spending some time on their hands. It's a really good way to build uh, shoulder stability, build up that strength in your shoulders. Good, keep it going guys, about 15 seconds. Nice, hopping side to side. And if you're over that hover, maybe go a little quicker, a little shallow, we got five. We got three, two. Good, going into that inside boat press, inside boat press, down on our tailbones, feet hovering, pressing from the chest. <laughs> Let's see you guys. I need to put you guys on the screen to give these guys motivation. Some of you already threw through your presses. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, next one, deck squat, lateral hops. We got double back lunge to squat. That double back lunge is weighted, okay?
We're coming back to center here. And we're going in three, two, let's get it, guys. Good. Hopping side to side. Awesome. All right, guys, keep it up. We got 20 seconds here. Keep it going, 10 seconds. Breathe through it. With you. And nice, guys, relax. Grabbing that weight, going to double back lunge with a squat. Five total on those squats. Five total on the squats. Nice work, guys. Driving through that forward foot. Knee is in line with those toes, standing up nice and tall. Good, guys. Five reps total, counting that squat. So 10 lunges. Looking good, Amy. I wish I was outside right now. It's supposed to be 70 degrees. Beautiful. Fight gang. You might see us on the streets rolling 20 deep. All right, guys. You know what to do. We got 40 seconds forward, back run. Okay, whatever you were doing in house. Okay, if you had a, a restricted or confined area, go ahead and continue that. 40 seconds on that forward, back run and then five suitcase deadlifts. I'm gonna give you guys about 20 seconds in between each one. That was already about 15, so we're coming back in. We are going in three, two, and let's get it, guys. These guys are doing a good job being aware of their space, not running into anything especially with weights laying around. You got to be cautious of that. 20 seconds, guys. Anything that you do. 10 seconds. We got three, two. Good, guys. Go ahead and grab your weight. We got five suitcase deadlifts. Remember, keep those hips in line. Keep those shoulders in line as best you can. Brace those abs, protect that low back. Nice work, guys. Good job, Vicky. See your head popping in and out of the screen. So I know you're moving, I know you're with us. Five and five, guys. Good. When you're done, breathe it out, catch your breath. Next group, we got 40 second mountain climbers to froggers, eight sit up to tricep extension. So those mountain climbers again, one, two, three, four, going into that hop, hands up. Yeah, Catherine's digging it. All right, guys, we got the clock set. We are going in three, two, and let's get it, guys. <laughs> Good, driving those knees, hands up. Yeah. I hope you guys are listening to this playlist. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. We got five seconds. We got three, two. Good. Going to that sit up to tricep extension. Eight of those. Eight of those. Sitting down on our tailbone in that hover position. Actually, not in that hover. Heels are down on the ground. Sitting up, triceps pointed towards the ceiling. 
slowly coming down. Eight total here, guys. Yeah. Andy B already up. What's up, Danielle? Irene in the house. Christian, what's up? Love that porch. All right, guys. Last group of moves here. 40 seconds, single leg, hinge hops. Again, hinging at that hip, reaching down for the ground. Whoop, little hop there. Whoop. Another five seconds. Second group of moves. We're going in three, two, let's get it guys. 40 seconds on the clock. And I've got my eyes on the time here. We'll switch legs at 20 seconds. We're 10 seconds in. And go ahead and switch those legs guys. Remainder of the 20 seconds on that other leg. Nice hinges, good balance, guys. We got seven seconds. We got three, two, and going to those cross body cleans, guys. And take the time you need to do it right. The awesome thing about these combo workouts is we tax you cardiovascularly and then we ask you to do a complex movement like a clean or a crossbody clean. So you really got to be in the right frame of mind. You really got to think about the movement, watch that form. It's easy to get sloppy whenever we're tired. Don't let that be you. Five and five. Catherine's at eight. I think this second half of the playlist is for you, Eric. <laughs> All right, guys. That second time through, take your time. Woo! Catch your breath. A minute on, on the rest time here. We blowing through this workout? We are. We are? Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Give you some time to get out there, get on your bikes. Get on your porch. Maybe have a mimosa. I don't know. <laughs> Catherine's not about it right now. Almost there, guys. You're all still with me. What's up, Haley? Haley, who you got with you? You don't know sign language? <laughs> All right, Haley's chatting it in. Hey, what's up? I don't know if I've had you in class. All right, all right. Does that feel like 60 seconds? Another 20 more. For those of you guys that are regulars in my class, you know I'm terrible at time. I gotta make sure my phone's buzzing on me all the time. All right, guys. We look like we're ready in-house. Last time through 10 movements. We're going down into those donkey kicks, 40 seconds on the clock. We're starting in five, in three, two. All right, guys, last time through these movements, make it happen, 40 seconds. You are what you are, player. Good, guys. It's 15 seconds down. Good, keep it up. About 15 seconds left. You can play with the speed, you can play with the hover, whatever you want to do here. It's your workout. 
Three seconds. Two. And relax. This song already play? Cool. All right. All right, guys, go into that inside boat press. We got 10 reps there. Really focus on bracing that midsection. You really got to stabilize there in order to make that press happen. If you're holding isometric hold, 10 reps. She looks so cute. Good work, guys. Morgan and Paul already done. Is Molly snoozing in today? Basement dweller, she's snoozing. All right. All right, guys. Second time, our second group of moves deck squats to lateral hops, coming down. You let those legs go overhead. Whoop, whoop. 40 seconds deck squat, lateral hop, followed by double back lunge with that weight. Boom, boom, deep squat. Eric Appleseed, he's ready to go. We are going in three, two, let's get it guys. 40 seconds here. And remember this is that cardiovascular movement, meant to get your heart rate up just a little bit. So with that in mind, what do you wanna to bring to this movement? It's also a playful movement. So if you're more focused on the play, roll it out. If you wanna move quick, make those lateral hops quicker. Seven seconds, guys. Good, keep it up. We got two. And relax, grabbing that weight, going to the double back lunge with the squat. These guys are helping slow me down. So grabbing that weight whenever you're ready, double back lunge with the squat. Nice form, Barbara. Looking good on those lunges to squats. Christian, hope that uh, that knee's feeling okay. I see you took the weight out of it. That's perfect. Good job, Irene. Good guys. That's four down. We got six to go. All right, next one. Forward, back, run. Okay, working within that camera space. You can either speed it up or slow it down, either direction. Uh, next one, five and five, suitcase deadlifts. Again, bracing this uh, midsection. Think of it as like your uh, cor corset. Corset. It's what holds everything in. So you want to brace that nice and tight, five and five. Crew's coming back in. 40 seconds on the clock. We are going in five. In three, two, let's go. Don't <laughs> see. Oh, <laughs> careful here. <laughs> About to run through the camera. <laughs> I see you, baby. 20 seconds, guys. <laughs> In the lap pool, kids. Catherine's getting lapped in here. We got 10 seconds. She got lapped. <laughs> Five seconds here. We got three, two. Good. Going to suitcase deadlifts. Eric gave her that Ric Flair. Woo! Good. Catch your breath. Take what you need here before we go into the suitcase deadlifts. Catch your breath if you can. <laughs> Catherine Morgan, I love it. Yup, regular suitcase dads. You may be tired from those runs. Don't let that affect your form. 
<laughs> five and five. Five one side, five the other. Really root those feet into the ground. That'll help stabilize everything else up top. Good, guys. All right, number seven, number eight, mountain climber froggers. We're down in that plank position, driving knee to elbow before we go into that frogger position. Okay, we got 40 seconds on the clock for that, followed by sit up to tricep extension. Think about pulling those elbows up high, okay, and extending up overhead from that sit up position. Another 10 seconds here. All right, guys, we're ready to go in three, two. All right, guys, drive those knees. We're going, 40 seconds. Good, pump those knees nice and quick. Again, last time through each movement, what do you want to bring to it? Maybe a little extra flair, a little extra pop, a little extra hop in your step. That's 20 seconds in, we got 20 seconds to go. Good, I hear some nice deep breaths here in the studio. In through your nose, out through your mouth, trying to calm that heart rate down. We got 10 seconds left. Uh. We got five, we got three. Good guys, standing it up. Tricep extensions. <laughs> Eric in house playing the flute. Maybe the recorder, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know he was a musician too. This guy's multi-talented. <laughs> Tricep extensions, guys, you got eight of those. Let's go, baby. Nice extensions on camera, guys. Slowly sitting it down. See how slow you can sit back. Camacho, killing it. Miranda, what up? Kimberly looking good. Andy, you ready for this last one? But I see 100% effort. Yeah. We got about two minutes left, two minutes of work. So we're going to that single leg hinge hop, 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other side, reaching down, hopping up, okay? Next one, five and five, cross body cleans. About 10 seconds here. Catch your breath, Catherine. Eric Appleseed. We are going in three, two. Let's get it, guys. Strong finish here. Keeping my eyes on the time. It's about 10 seconds. Good, strong finish, guys. And that's 20 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and switch feet, switch sides. Looking like Mario brother trying to catch a coin. Nice, guys, keep it up. We're close, we got five. We got three, and go into those crossbody cleans, guys. And catch your breath if you need to, big deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, make sure this looks good. There's value in making these movements pretty. If anything feels clunky, maybe reevaluate, maybe just go to those classic cleans. These guys in house looking pretty.
Good work, guys. Strong finish here. Good work, guys. 10 total. Oh, that was, we gonna let it go early? Can I take one extra minute from you guys? Last minute since we, we finished with four minutes left, right? So I'll give you three minutes back. But the last minute, we're just gonna go from a 30 second boat, or excuse me, hollow body, trying to press the entire length of that spine into the ground, okay? When we finish with the 30 seconds there, we're gonna do our best plank, screwing hands into the ground, abs nice and tight, squeezing those butt cheeks. Just one minute of work, guys. 30 second hollow body hold, followed by a 30 second plank. We are going in three, two, let's go, guys. Good, just 30 seconds in each position. The reason why I love this position is it's the core of every movement we do, right? We gotta keep that, those abs brace, that midsection brace. Also gotta protect that low back. Good, guys. 10 seconds here. And if that's challenging, you can bring those limbs in a little bit closer to the center. We got three, we got two. Good, guys, rolling it into a plank. We want to think about tearing the ground apart. We want to think about screwing hands into the ground. We want to think about squeezing those butt cheeks. We're right into it, guys. Right into it. 30 seconds. Don't forget those butt cheeks. If I snuck up behind Eric, what would Eric do? He'd clinch. <laughs> Don't let me get you, Eric. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Eight seconds, guys. Final three, two, and that's time, guys. All right, we gave you, gave you back an extra two minutes to enjoy the sunshine. I'll take that low five now. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah, you can find some space on the floor. I like what Catherine's doing here. Just. Just chilling, right? I mean, that's cool down. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring that heart rate down. So Catherine's here chilling. If you want to keep chilling with her, that's cool. You can also bring leg over and across. Give a little pull into that glute. We don't want to move too quick through these movements. And switching sides if you haven't. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I, I don't know if we even explained it. That was the surprise is that I would be teaching class. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's Jaboy. Um, any, any announcements you want to run people through? Cool, yeah, we're gonna keep things as is right now. I know many of you guys saw the uh, stay at home order was extended in Denver. So, you know, we're just working through things as they come up and, and trying to plan accordingly. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for being a part of this. From my perspective, it's been so fun to be on the other side of the screen, like chatting with you guys, seeing into your lives, being able to communicate um, just through a different platform, right? Like, uh, it was a thought that came to my mind, but we haven't closed. We just changed the platforms that we're teaching classes and appreciate you guys being uh, a part of that and, and being uh, willing to, to come along with that. So um, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, enjoy your Sunday, have fun, and uh, I'll catch you on the keyboards tomorrow. See you guys.